Got a time limit to worry about this time. So I would blatantly ignore, ignore any lost cargo along the way. Oh, that's a big bridge. I like. Ah! Okay. Okay. It's fine. Actually, we'll. If I have a drink. Get out of here, Mouse Pointer. I hope BTs aren't guaranteed in this area. Because that will make me a lot slower. Strong wind. Actually, this is. I gotta say, this is an odd place to put a, a wind farm. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a rope. I could have used that. Oh, well. So I'm gonna ignore that cargo. And that cargo, because I just want to get this delivery back on time, right on time, right on time. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Right on town. Oh, more music. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh, that was a bit scary. Come on now. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing some big chugs on my OBS. And there's some hipster shit right here. Oh, come on. I even turned down resolution. Don't chug on me now. I'm gonna... This seems like a better place to... Man, these boots are already wearing down. Man, I wonder if it was a mistake playing such a graphically demanding game on my current setup. I have been looking into, I still don't really have the economy for it, but I have been looking into a new PC. I'm thinking I'll thinking I'll pay really well for a good PC now rather than oh. Can I 
Can I not? I guess I can't. I think uh, that's better than skimping out now for like a midline and having to upgrade later. Uh, sooner rather than later. So I'm looking into a something with a 3080 in it. Not skimp on a on the CPU. Just oh fuck. Just in general, go for good shit. So, I got 45 minutes. It's, it ha it's barely been. It haven't been six minutes. Make delivery. Yes. Really? Wow. Don't do things by halves, do you? Hard to believe one man could bring in a hole this big. Then again, you are a legend. So this guy treats me like a legend, but the other guy called me new kid. Or whatever. Um anything you need. And another level connection and now yeah now delivery time is starting to matter and seems like I did quite good on that I don't know anyone who's done more to bring people together and get them back on their feet it's hard to believe you're just one guy can't help wondering if the great deliverer isn't actually a small army. Because it sure seems like whenever someone's in trouble, you're there to lend a hand. It's enough to make me think you just might make it all the way to the coast. Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. Hmm. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I'll have a look at that. I'll just have a quick rest first. Was there an exclamation mark on the rest option? Huh. Good, my baby is a lot. Feeling a lot better. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. Mail. Lambda, how about taking a break in a private room? You've been working hard, Sam. Your poor grade ought to go through the roof if you keep this up. Wonder though, how you how are your BBs doing? Uh, even if you're feeling fine, it might be a good idea to give the little guy a break from time to time. I don't know. Can't help but empathize with BBs, I guess. Maybe because I'd be one too if my last name began with a B. If you know what I mean. What? If my last name began with a B? What does that mean? So yeah, head down to one of the... Oh, is it because you're Benjamin? Your B, your B H. If your last name be, fine, fine. Uh, so yeah, head down to one of those underground facilities, private rooms. I mean, and take a load off. That's my advice. Your B B will thank thank you for it. See you around, Sam. Um. Test order lambda. I want you to look for some lost cargo. Doing well, Sam Bridges. I guess I should expect nothing less from the great deliverer, though. Yeah, I heard this story. It's rumor that has it your. A big Half-Life fan? Sorry? Once we were united, but now we've been scattered all over. But that's why we've 
got to keep working, right? Anyway, listen, I got a favor to ask. I want you to find some lost cargo for me. You know the river to the north of the distribution center west of Capital North City. Just follow it east, northeast from the center. You'll find what I'm looking for. It's a cube, so it ought to be easy to spot. You've probably never seen anything like it before, so I wouldn't blame you for being leery. But it's not dangerous. It's really, really important to me. Important as life itself. If you manage to find the cube, it'd be great if you could take it to the distribution center west of Capital North City. I'll check a bunch of likes your way in exchange, of course, plus a little something extra too. You're the only one who can help me, Sam. I'm counting on you. A cube. Northeast from the center. Distribution center west. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Lambda. Is it like is it like a Half Life um, crossover thing on this Steam version? Uh, actually, let me get the tips out of the way. Then we have some emails to read. So, uh, no, not emails. Interviews. Humanity's biggest problem, logistics. Five years ago, war and famine have been inescapable parts of human life since the rise of our species. And while the fall of America hasn't changed this fundamental truth, it's fair to say that these issues aren't pressing concerns. Can you remember the last time you heard of a prepper dying of starvation, much less someone in a not city? No one's fighting over water or oil or anything else. Which isn't to say that people don't occasionally run out of supplies. But that's almost never because of a real shortage. It's usually a problem with logistics. Hmm. In fact, it was to address such problems that the president created bridges and developed the chiral network. Uh, so yeah, no one's that desperate. Everybody's got enough for themselves, which is what's led to the real problem. It's all too easy for people to become isolated from one another. And eventually forget that others even exist. People are free to live for themselves for the moment without a care for... Oh, fuck. Sorry, I was playing with the... Fiddling with the controller. Without a care for the future. Um, the president understood this better than anyone, and I know just how much it pained her. Hmm. I'm gonna... It looks very interesting, Hartman stuff here. Chiral Contamination 1. Chiral Contamination is the result of prolonged exposure to chiral radiation, which is emitted by chiralium, a substance discovered at the same time as the beach. Uh, prolonged exposure can significantly impact physical and mental health. The effects are not dissimilar from those observed in individuals exposed to extreme high level, extremely high levels of stress, levels which can be fatal even. Such traumatic experiences can alter hormonal secretions, impair immune response, contribute to heart failure and induce strokes. The most common symptom of chiral contamination is poor sleep quality due to vivid nightmares. If left unchecked, however, it can quickly progress a, a more advanced stage in which the aforementioned issues may, may be observed. The potential impact on an in individual's mental health cannot be understated. The resulting hormonal imbalances frequently lead to heightened destructive impulses toward the self and others. Those dominated by such urges are named homo demons, the mad ones. Uh, oh, it's not demons. That's not the illusion, it's more like dementia. In the case of some porters, such as mules, impaired memory and judgment has led them to develop an irrational obsession with the profession, hence the homo gestalt moniker. Uh, while it should be feasible and preferable for most individuals to avoid chiral contamination at all costs. There are those with a dem demonstrated resistance who need to who need not be so cautious. I speak, of course, of dooms sufferers. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Dooms is related to this chiral contamination thing. Chiral contamination can be alleviated using similar methods to those used to alleviate stress, increasing oxytocin secretion through contact with other people, administering smart drugs, and so forth. Uh, in recent years, however, a hormone dumped 
a hormone dubbed lycosin, lycosin? known uh, to mitigate the effects of chiral contamination while also restoring basic physical and mental acuity, has attracted a great deal of attention from the scientific community. Unlike oxytocin, lycosin cannot be administered externally, it is secreted within the body, but only responds to external stimuli. It is said to be the hormone principally responsible for the positive feelings that occur when one achieves a goal, enjoys success, receives praise or gratitude, or any other form of like from a fellow human being. This is kind of interesting because it's basically saying that, yeah, uh, we know about the... Because, like, think about for a minute the people on social media and such who are very into this idea of getting likes. They want people to like their stuff, which is fine. I'm not gonna say there's anything wrong in wanting people to like the things you do. Uh, perfectly natural, I would consider that. And there is, like, the natural process when that happens in the body, in the brain, is a release of a, a, release of a hormone. Or, I believe it is, at least, something similar. I don't know if this uh, lycosin, uh, lycosin, whatever, is the real name for it, but there certainly is like feel-good chemicals released when you see the people have liked your thing. There's this great meme that's like, uh, I made a meme, and the brain asks, uh, did people press the button? Yes, the button has been pressed. Excellent, you may now have the good chemicals. And uh, that's sort of what this is. This lycosin, that's good chemicals. That's what, you, that's what you want. So in this world, this uh, setting, this chiral contamination can be counteracted or alleviated by receiving likes. Interesting. The discovery of beaches and the concept of death. Oh, we're getting into the good stuff. The discovery of the beach, the fundamental truth of death, was, uh, was upended. I doubt you will find many who deny this. Alas, we can say little with confidence in any objective or scientific capacity, for our understanding of this new realm remains in, in its infancy and is ever-evolving, much like our understanding of the universe as a whole. Perhaps the closest thing we have to a working explanation of the beach relates to the concept of a multiverse, but I digress. The beach is arguably both a concept and a reality. A discrete beach is influenced by the mind of the associated individual, and therefore linked to them irrevocably. A discrete beach. Hmm. This is why we have so energetically pursued the psychological, psychoanalytical, and neuroscientific angles when attempting to create a unified theory of the death stranding, the beach, and related phenomena. Okay, so the Death Stranding. Okay, okay. The Death Stranding. If the beach is the destination of souls, the Death Stranding. A whale or similar creature can be stranded on a beach. This metaphysical beach is linked to the concept of death. Uh, very closely. Okay, this is getting interesting. Uh, there was a fad a while back in which subjects underwent counseling in order to learn more about their beaches. Oh, does everyone have a beach? And in so doing, gain a greater understanding of the nature of death. Doom sufferers in particular provided excellent opportunities for study. An interesting theoretical question arose during that period, if a person's beach was product of their consciousness, might animals have beaches as well? A conundrum on the surface, perhaps, but one quickly resolved. Only human corpses undergo necrosis and become BTs, which proves somewhat conclusively that only a human can possess a beach. Okay. Yeah, we saw, like, what was it? Was it like deer? 
who died, and no character acted worried about that, suggesting that only humans undergo that. Yeah, okay. And this whole necrosis thing and the BTs are linked to the beaches, which yes, would suggest that only humans have a beach. Uh, and yet this begs another question. If all that is required is consciousness a akin to a that of a human, could an AI have a beach? An android? I for one do not believe so. Why? Because the function of our beaches is to connect the worlds of the living and the dead. If an entity was never born, has not truly lived, and will never know death, surely it cannot have a beach. Uh, yeah, sure, that checks out. Um thing about AI, well, I, I have a bit of trouble believing there will ever be truly, like, human-like AI. Uh, I have no trouble believing that we'll get close to that, but I know, I don't know that a, that an AI could possibly be human enough to, uh, well, in this case, possess a beach, which in real life terms would mean, like, is it enough to come into existence at a certain point to be considered born? Are you born when you are created? Surely not, because the creation of a human being is not the point of birth, but rather the point of conception. If you're not born, like, if you're not derived from... Okay, consider this. Consider a person that is tailor-made. Every last gene is tailor-made specifically to become a certain person. Is that person a human? If there... If there's no parents involved, no... natural cause for life, no uh, evolution, no mutation, is that person really a human? And as I'm asking that question, I'm thinking, yeah? And at the same time, I'm thinking, hmm... Couldn't AI have a beach or an android? Well, from what we can tell in this world, there are no intelligent AIs or androids. Like... We know that exists in Metal Gear, but this is in Metal Gear. And I'm speaking of Metal Gear, of course, because Kojima. Uh, hmm. Lot to think about. I'll go to the next uh, email. This was sent, uh, and this was written three years ago. Uh, as was this. Uh, 2.4 million years ago, Homo habilis started to craft stone tools, yeah? Hands are so very important, don't you think? Uh, and th that just keeps hammer keep hammering home the point about the hands, the importance of hands. Uh, I get it, I like it. Um, hands are so very important, don't you think? Or are the sensory organs passively interpret data? I don't know. Our eyes light, our ears sound, our nose smell, our mouths taste. But hands... Ah, oh, fuck. I shouldn't keep playing with the uh, cross. But hands, hands are different. To touch requires conscious action. To grasp more so. To connect that which is in our left hand with that which is in our right, still more. And the handprints we see when BT seek out humans. Why, I'd say that's just evidence of our otherworldly friends yearning to forge a connection. They're reaching out to us, attempting to bridge the gap between realm of the dead and that of the living. Do our other sensory organs 
passively interpret data. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with that. And he also, uh, to connect that which is on our left hand with that which is in our right, is not about interpreting data, that is about manipulating. Uh, and I suppose if you view it like that, if you consider hands different because they're not only a tool for uh, receiving data, but also a tool for manipulating surroundings, then yeah, they're certainly different. Hmm. But you can do that with your mouth as well. Like, actually, thinking about it, when uh, children are very young, their main way of exploring their new reality, the reality outside the womb, the, the main tools they use are their hands and their mouths. You know how babies put everything in their mouth, right? That's... That's because they use the senses in the mouth to gather information about, well, whatever they want information about. And they also use their hands. They will touch and feel. Babies have poor eyesight. We know this. Uh, we also know that uh, at a very young ages, within a few months, I think it's uh, at least 10 weeks uh, after birth, the senses of sight and hearing are not properly disassociated. A loud noise will register visually for a baby, for a, say, a five-week-old baby. You make a loud noise, that baby will experience um, disturbance in their vision uh, is something we know. We can, we 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 have studied uh, brain wave patterns and shit, and probably connections as well in. Um, I, I suppose autopsies have been made on. Uh, children who died very young. We know that. Which I suppose means that... Um, the touch and taste senses are more important. Likewise, the... Uh, no, not likewise, but... Uh, also interesting is... The sense of smell, which is more directly connected to memory. Um... And it's actually, like, if I understand it correctly, your the the part of your nose that senses smell is actually part of your brain, like directly connected. Somehow, though I might be mistaken. But you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to leave that behind. Uh, is my baby as healthy as it can be? You okay? Looks happy. Very good. You could definitely notice that um, its stress level. Uh, took a hit in the forest there. Uh, anyways, um, I'm going to be ending this episode, and I'll see you next time.
keep coming.